Whitney U test using blue sky statistics. Man Whitney U test. The Man Whitney U test is non parametric alternative to independent samples t test. If your data is not normally distributed or is it on ordinal scale, you can use instead of independent sample t test, you can go for Man Whitney U test, which is referred to as Wilcoxon test in blue sky statistics. Now the test is used for differences between two independent groups on ordinal or continuous measure. Instead of comparing means of the two groups, as is the case in the t-test where the data is normally distributed, the man whitney u test compares medians. It then evaluates whether the ranks for the two groups differ significantly. As the scores are converted to ranks, the actual distribution of the scores actually do not matter. The following are the few scenarios where you can use Man Whitney U test. A company quality manager would like to know if there is difference in service quality received by suppliers and customers. A market researcher would like to investigate if there are differences in attention to social media and it does it differ between male and female. An HR manager would like to investigate if the compensation offered by the two departments finance and HR is significantly different. So the HR manager collected data from 10 personnel from each department. An educationist would like to evaluate the difference in attentiveness of male and female students. Now in each of these scenarios, you've got two groups and you've got one dependent variable. In this case, in the first example, it was service quality. In the second, it was attention or preference for social media. In the third, it was compensation. And in the fourth, it was attentiveness which was compared between or all of these scenarios or in all of these scenarios it was compared between two groups. So how do you run it in blue sky statistics? Here's a sample data and the problem I want to investigate is to identify if there exists a significant difference or differences in preference for watching social media ads between male and female. Do male and female have similar preference for watching social media ads? So this is what uh, actually I want to investigate. Here's a sample output actually as well. And this is how you can report your man Whitney U test. So how do you run it in blue sky statistics? Just come back to blue sky statistics. Go to analysis, non-parametric test and Wilcoxon independent samples. So man Whitney U test is referred to as Wilcoxon test in your blue sky statistics software. It will give you the similar results. Just press it. Now, what's your response variable? In this case, it is social preference and make sure it is in numeric form. Just add it here. The grouping variable, gender here. Non-directional hypothesis. If you know the direction, group one greater than group two or group one less than group two, you can choose these options. But in this case, let's go for non-directional. Group one is not equal to group two. Keep the test method default, all other settings as is, press OK. Now here are your results. Median for male and female is 2. The W value is 2775.5. The P value is 0.6623. The difference is significant and it does obviously have a zero in between. So well, it shows that obviously your results are not significant this means that there are no significant differences so let's copy this export to word so the results are showing that there are no significant differences in social preference of or for watching social media ads between male and female now how do you report these results once you have put it in microsoft word we are going to use this template so your hypothesis is there is a significant difference in preference for social media advertisement between male and female respondents to evaluate the difference between male and female for preference to watch advertisement over social media was tested using man whitney u test the test revealed insignificant differences in preference of males so what was the median for males it was two the N for males is 79, for female it was 2 and the N is 73.
obviously this does not show you uh, give you the n value so what you can do is you can go to analysis and you can go for summary table frequency table and you can go select gender press ok and here it is 79 and 73 we can copy this from here and use it in our reporting here the u value which is in this case uh, referred to as the w value because it's Wilcoxon test so but the value is the same 2775.500 the p value is 0.6623 hence h1 was not supported so this is how you can report your man whitney or wilcoxon test to evaluate or assess the differences between two groups for a dependent variable that is not normally distributed but is on ordinal uh, scale so use man whitney or wilcoxon test if you want to evaluate the differences between two groups for a dependent variable that is not normally distributed or on ordinal scale. Thank you very much.